and good day. My name is Jürgen Steinmetz from eTurbo News, and this is a breaking news update. For more news updates and shows, please go to youtube.com slash travel news group, youtube.com slash travel news group. Here's our update. New Zealand COVID cases surge, but opening borders sooner. As the world starts to move again, New Zealand is easing its travel restrictions against COVID-19 in the hopes that the return of tourists will boost the country's economy. When COVID-19 first arrived on the scene, New Zealand clamped down the country with the sum of the most stringent lockdown rules, basically isolating the country from the world. The borders were closed off in March 2020 and stayed closed until now with only New Zealand citizens being allowed to travel in and out of the country. The only exception was when a travel bubble with Australia was established, which only lasted a very short time. New Zealand became known as a COVID success story where only 115 deaths related to COVID have been recorded since the pandemic started. The Prime Minister of New Zealand, Jacinda Ardern, said her country is now ready to welcome the world back. We have now received guidance that it is safe to significantly bring forward the next stage of border reopening work, bringing back our tourists. Ardern stated. Beginning April 13, Australians are the first group that will be allowed into New Zealand without having to quarantine. For fully vaccinated travellers on a visa waiver list of around 60 countries, including the US and UK, they will be able to travel to New Zealand starting May 1. All visitors must be vaccinated and provide proof of a negative COVID-19 test prior to arriving in the country. Unvaccinated New Zealanders have been left without jobs in some areas, causing recent protests in the country's capital of Wellington. The country boasts a 95% vaccination rate. It is interesting to note that in the past few weeks, daily infection rates in New Zealand have soared from under 1,000 per day to more than 20,000. Within the country itself, it has eased up a bit on isolation of COVID patients but remains in its highest level of restrictions. There are still mask mandates in most settings, as well as limits on gatherings. For those interested in visiting New Zealand, most of the flights arrive in Auckland, AKL, the largest city located towards the top of the North Island. Domestic flights connect Auckland with 24 other airports throughout the country. Another popular way to get to and explore the country is by cruising. Most cruises to New Zealand depart from Australia and the Pacific Islands, and some are round-the-world journeys. More news about New Zealand. Thank you for listening to our news update. There's more on youtube.com slash travel news group. Or you can read us, of course in going to our news portal at etobernews.com or travelnews.online.